Hello and welcome to Eat Your Backyard. It is a beautiful but sweltering hot day in Central Florida Zone 10A. This is going to be a somewhat short stream, but if you're new to the channel, I hope you will subscribe. And if you like this content, please click the like button. So I've been spending a lot of time over on my original music channel, this new channel I'm just starting up called Jedi Jingle Maker. I hope you will go over there following this stream at 1 p.m. Eastern time in about 10 minutes, that stream is gonna kick on and I'll be on that on live chat. So I'm gonna end this one within about 10 minutes. But I wanted to also make some viewer announcements so that you're aware. I've been working on each backyard content. I received a number of requests from the viewers of topics they were interested in to include things like the Zen art of fruit tree branch bending the follow-up on the neem oil treatment and how it worked out long-term on the coconut tree with the mealybugs. I want to do a video on, I'm going to do a video on my chicken coop build. I still have all that video. I just haven't put it together. So you'll get to see how the chicken coop came together. As you see right here in full functioning status. There's one of the little hennies. Things are really, really going off right now. This is when we start to get into the rainy season around this area, so you can count on some afternoon rains, which is really helpful. That's when everything really gets going. You can see the grass here is very patchy. That's because I need to apply the treatment of adding some topsoil and a little bit of compost to those patches, and they'll come right back. I also had some sprinkler issues, and we played a lot of football on this yard here and we always wear it down to nothing every year when we start playing football on it. So we're gonna grow it up to a big carpet again. And, and by the way, now I have no concept known as weeds really in my yard because everything that grows that I thought was a weed, I now see as a, as a delicious treat for either the rabbit and the chickens. And since everything that is happening in this backyard here is completely organic, there is no need to worry about feeding it to your animals and eating the things which they produce like the bunnies my bunnies if you're not aware if you want to do something great for the abundance of your area get some bunnies and collect their manure and apply it directly around all your plants and let me just say abundance hack 101 so yeah right now just to talk about what we have for things blooming before we get into that though, I wanna say, if you have topics for upcoming videos you're interested in, would like to find out more about, I'm certainly open to those. I always write them down and make sure I get them done when people send in stuff I'm interested in. So don't hesitate to either leave it in a comment or shoot me an email. The email is on the About tab on the Eat Your Backyard YouTube channel page. But the Jedi Jingle happening here in just about five minutes, I hope some of you will be over on that. But what is blooming right now? What has fruit on it? Well, this strawberry tree, let's just do a quick little run through. There you go. Strawberry cotton candy fruit. Mm, mm, mm. That was good. All right. Mm. Well, I see Barbados cherries up there, but I don't see one within easy reach while holding this gimbal. But I'm going to say it counts. Man, it would be cool if there was just one. Oh, I see a nice one right up in there. Well, anyway, certainly have Suriname cherries. There's one. And this is what I'm talking about with getting your backyard activated, where you have year-round fruit all the time. Look at that, a delicious Suriname cher cherry. This is kind of late in a huge bounty that we had. You can see all the cherry pits on the ground and the ones we didn't eat. Wow, that was good. Another cherry. Cherries everywhere. I have a lot of cherries, a lot of delicious cherries. Now this Persian mulberry, I noticed it's setting fruit, but it's not ripe yet. Uh, certainly have mulberries everywhere though. Ah, and um, uh, ooh, I like the red ones. I come and harvest off of this all the time. Oops, berries are so red, they just fall off but I come and 
eat off of this all the time. It's one of the more delicious ones. They all have slightly different flavor, I think. But man, the mulberries. That's what I'm talking about. I love to eat my backyard. All right, what else? Ah, the mango. Yes, yes, the mango. Look at that. Not bad, but not done yet. These Tommy Atkins are, are fine mangoes, folks. If you're gonna get one mango tree, although this may not be A plus taste, it's clearly B minus. And um, man, they just produce perfect, beautiful, gigantic mangoes. It, mangoes. It'll get twice as big as this. I mean, it's just like a cannonball of a mango. All right, but not ripe. Let's see what else we can get into before we get into Jedi Jingle Maker. The name of today's song release is Ritual Tools. It's about seven minutes long. Ah, right. oh, look at these pigeon peas. Yes, as you can see, no shortage of pigeon peas. You could watch my many videos on how to grow those, but that's what you get at the end result. I'm pigeon peas everywhere. Where's Penelope? Oh, there she is. Look at that. That's a sleepy rabbit. It's her time to exercise now, but she's just using it to sleep. It's too hot. I'm done. I don't blame her. But yeah, there you go. And these are high protein peas. Now, not to mention what we could go in there and probably get about 10 eggs out of that hen house right now. I haven't collected them in a couple of days, but yep, delicious pigeon peas. See how they're kind of red? Really cool looking. Mmm, I love these are a little bit chewy. I especially like it when they're like that. Oh, that's pea didn't want to come out. Yeah. And we also have papaya and banana growing right now. I'll just show you some of the papaya up in that tree. I gotta get my picker to get those out way up there. And uh, the bananas are over in my new grove and I installed in this corner. So, canned of bananas on a little cavendish back in that corner here. See if we can get in on it. Let's get in on it. Let's go into the jungle. See how I have this chicken wire around the plants now? And that's to keep it from being chickenized. The quest for the bananas. Oh, the bananas. Oh, what? Oh, here we go. Ah, there they are, but they went a little bit past ripe. Bummer. Brown bananas. Throw those back there. The chickens will eat those for sure. They don't mind rotten bananas, so it's not going to go to waste. Good chicken food. Plenty of bananas in my life. All right, so let's go ahead over and watch that Jedi Jingle Maker if you're into such things. If you would be very generous, you give me a subscription over on that channel as well, where I think I'm up to a whopping 19 subscribers. More songs, original music out all the time. Take requests there too. Hey, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to Eat Your Backyard for this eight minutes and a half that we spent together. My 29,000 points of light. We are now 29,000 strong as a community on Eat Your Backyard. I'm very proud of that. And uh, I believe we will achieve 100,000K within my lifetime. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks for watching Eat Your Backyard.